Hope everybody's having a good time. I know we got the bachelorette party over there. Very nice. 15 years. Uh, is he by any chance Latino? <laughs> that's, that's what we do. We'll be with somebody for 25 years. <laughs> And then she'd be like, and then she'd be like, so uh, what are we? <laughs> Guess we're married. <laughs> that's nice. That's nice. Congratulations, man. Congratulations. That's uh, you still have time. You got you got a week to back out of it. <laughs> Not gonna happen now. Uh, huh? <laughs> Just remember today. I told you so. <laughs> right. Go ahead and ask some other people how it's going. Who else is married around here? Put your hands together if you're married. Don't put your hands up. I can't see you. Okay, okay. How, how long have you been married? 37. 37 years. Very nice, very nice. Very nice. Yeah. 37 years. Uh, marriage, how, how long? Uh, not even a year yet. Not even a year yet. Alright, don't listen to that yet. Don't listen to that. <laughs> <laughs> and with who, who, are you, who are you married? Right there? Nice, very nice. And then you guys, how long? 14 years. 14, y'all ain't got nothing else for 37? Right. They're still good right here. They're still good right here. <laughs> Anybody married here? 10 years? 45! They just called y'all on. <laughs> 45 years, that's nice, that's nice. Back there, how long? 14. 14? 38. 16. 16. 11. 11. Zero. There's a reason why. That tone you heard? That's why. Who else here is married? 30. Nine? Very nice, very nice. That's, you know, congratulations. I cannot stand a woman for the life of me. To get married? 37, 45, 30? Y'all are ridiculous. That's great. I remember, I remember my last relationship. It was a while ago, but I remember. And I remember the first, like, year, right? Where you're just like, everything is so new and beautiful and exciting from the person. Everything you learn from them is the most beautiful thing, right? Every quality that she had, I thought any man would love in a woman, right? She was beautiful, she was smart, allergic to latex. Right? I miss her, I still miss her. Um, but it's crazy because we got into little, little fights, we were only together for about four years, right? And the crazy thing is that you're supposed to get a comfort level. I, I figure at 45 you've seen Everything disgusting he can do, serve same thing. You've seen everything that she can do that's disgusting, right? Four years, four years in, the only thing that she did was ever burp in front of me, right? We never farted in front of each other, which bothered me because I needed that extra level of comfort. <laughs> and as a man, as a man, four years, I'm a gentleman, so if she's not farting, I'm not farting. The whole time. I'm with her, right? And ladies, I don't know if you know the just monstrosity that goes on in here, right? The bubble guts and just, we get it so easily, right? So I have to walk around and since I'm a gentleman, what I like to do is at the doors, I just love opening the doors, right? Car doors, my favorite. Here you go, baby. You're so beautiful, get inside. <laughs> Thank you, I love you. Hopefully it's not winter and I just had less a, a trail of steam around the whole car. <laughs> but it's crazy because she was she was baby crazy. She had baby fever, is what they call it, right? And I was inoculated, so I don't have that need to have a child. I was I'm, I'm Latin, right? I was an uncle at seven. I don't need <laughs> I don't need children, right? So I was with my niece and my nephew earlier today before I came up here, right? We went to go see a movie, took them to the park, went to go eat, right? We go to Wendy's, have a good time, right? 13, Karina, my niece. What you want, baby girl? What you gonna get? I'm gonna have a salad. I said, stupid, if you're hungry later, I'm gonna beat your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have a salad. Okay, get a salad, whatever. Jose, he's 10, what you want, baby boy? I'm gonna have a baconator. Cool, two baconators, a salad, let's go, right? I get the food, I distribute it, and then Jose starts taking the bacon off of the baconator. <laughs> I lost my mind. I was like, hey, hey, what the hell is wrong with you? I may have overreacted a little bit. And he's just like, I don't, I don't, I don't like bacon. 
Well, who let you get the bacon in, stupid? <laughs> Just sounded like a cool man. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna put that bacon back on that sandwich. You're gonna eat it. No, I don't. I don't like bacon. I don't eat pork. <laughs> what are you talking about? You're Puerto Rican. You are pork. Eat that bacon. <laughs> They still let me hang out with him, which is crazy. Right? <laughs> he had surgery on his knee, so I had to go take him to physical therapy as a good uncle, right? And I go up to his school, the lady was like, so what kid are you here to pick up? And I was just like, whichever one. Just give me a little <laughs> You guys found that a lot funnier than she did. <laughs> she called the cops. <laughs> that's my life, I'm stupid. That's, 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 how, that's how I live, you know? I like, I'm 30, right? I turned 30, I turned 31 this year, and this is the part of my life where I figure out who I'm gonna be for the rest of my life, right? And what I realized by myself is that I have a casual relationship with the truth. Oh, yeah. Some of y'all might be like, that means you're a liar, man. Yeah. yeah, that's true. That's what it is. I like lying about stupid stuff, though. I tell the truth on almost everything else, but the stupid stuff I like, right? I was in the Upper Peninsula last month, having a good time in a show, right, for Michigan. Right? I get off the set, this guy comes up to me after the show, man, you had, I had a really good time, you were really funny. By the way, you look really exotic, where are you from? You didn't think you were a Mexican? So I was just like, Antarctica. <laughs> and for the most part, people are just like, no, for real, where are you from? This guy was just like, for real? <laughs> That's crazy, I've never met anybody from Antarctica before. I was like, yeah, there's not a lot of us. Antarcticans walking around. <laughs> but sometimes it'll get me in trouble though, right? Last time I got pulled over, right? Got pulled over by the cops. Yeah, Sir, do you know why I pulled you over? No, not at all. Well, your plate sticker was expired. Oh, I just, uh, yeah. just haven't had a chance to get around to it. Really? For four years, sir? <laughs> Man, I got ADD, I got lies flying over my head all day. So I just reach up, and I pull one out, and I was just like, ah, oh, you know what, just between work and astronaut school, I don't got a lot of time to uh, astronaut school. You heard that? That's what I told him. This man was just like, for real, astronaut school? Well, what are you studying in astronaut school? Uh, astrology? <laughs> You, you mean you mean astronomy? Uh, yeah, that one too. Um, we got we got another shape in case we get lost while we're up there. <laughs> what else? Uh, math, gravity stuff. Uh, oh, but we have a forty-five minute conversation on space. Why? Because I saw the magic school bus when I was a kid. So I'm just blurting out all the Miss Frizzle shit that I learned. <laughs> And my lies are getting bigger, they're compounding, right? I'm getting more confidence. I'm like, yo, you know how Pluto is a planet again? Guess who figured it out? <laughs> I'm getting out of this ticket. I'm getting out. And then I hear that one question. Uh, so what school do you go to? Huh? <laughs> what, what school do you go to? Gateway Tech? <laughs> He gave me the ticket. <laughs> but that's my luck with cops. That's my luck with cops, right? I'm brown. I have, I'm very unlucky. You, like you, you like that. You do be like that. Like that. Uh, <laughs> and this is how it is, right? So, and, and, and I'm from the hood, so I just, I just know what One happens. Right? I got pulled over. I got pulled over. Not even really pulled over. I just got in my car. So I've never been pulled over when I was already over it before. It's crazy, right? So I get into my car. Whoop, I turn on my car, put the window down. I look out, and the cop's like, hey, what are you doing around here? <laughs> I'm just like, going home? He's like, okay. Takes off, right? That's weird. The car's a little old, I let it warm up. Mr. Cop comes back. Hey, weren't you going home? <laughs> I'm just like, you want my spot? <laughs> Causes him to leer at me, reverse, and stay there until I left. Now, I just purchased this car from my brother-in-law, right? And what I didn't know is that he had a seal in the back showing that he was a police officer. So I took off, make a right turn again. Whoop, it's dark. Police car comes up to the left of me, says, hey, 
Who's the cop? You? <laughs> <laughs> this man was just like, no, no, who's the cop? You are. <laughs> He's like, are you retarded? <laughs> I was like, no. He's like, what's with the FOP? Now, mind you, I failed the two questions I already thought I knew. <laughs> Who the cop was, and if I was retarded. <laughs> so I was just like, I don't know what she wanted to say. <laughs> tells me, the start in the back is illegal. If you're not a police officer, you have to take it off. We're still in the middle of the street, so I was just like, Right now? <laughs> it's <just> like, <sighs> when you get home, you know the temptation at this point for me to be like, my home? <laughs> Ruin that man's night. It's fun. I, sometimes I like being sarcastic with people. You know, I used to work in retail for a very long time, and it's almost impossible not to be sarcastic with people. This guy came in one day and he was just like, hey, do you guys carry 70 inch TVs? And I was just like, yeah, but then they get heavy, so we gotta put it back down. 